the coming days, NASA officials will be scanning the skies for a rogue satellite on a collision course with Earth. A hunk of metal that could wreak havoc when it hits. Is it headed toward your neighborhood? Here's ABC's Dan Harris. And lift off. It was an orderly affair when the research satellite was first launched back in 1991. Not so orderly now, though. As early as next Saturday, this satellite weighing in at six tons, about the size of a bus, will be hurtling back toward Earth at a rate of five miles per second. And despite NASA and the Air Force tracking it around the clock, we won't know where it will hit until about two hours beforehand. Now, most of the satellite will burn up when it hits the scorching hot ring that surrounds the Earth, but NASA says there are 26 separate parts that will probably survive. All these 26 have been identified as potentially damaging should it hit, you know, a structure or a person. But the odds of that happening, of course, are very, very low. That's because most of the Earth is covered by water, and humans only live on about 1% of the planet's surface. So what exactly are your odds of being hit by a piece of this satellite while you're, say, walking down the street? According to NASA, 1 in 3,200. So it's unlikely, yes, but frankly, not as unlikely as I'd like. So to put that in perspective, consider this. Your odds of being involved in a car accident sometime in the next two years, 1 in 5,244. Your odds of being hit by lightning, 1 in 10,000 during your lifetime. And your odds of walking into a place like this and buying a winning lottery ticket, 1 in 146.1 million. Even though there are more than 20,000 pieces of space junk in orbit right now, NASA points out there's only one confirmed case of somebody actually being hit by it. On the left shoulder, it hit me right back here. And it rolled down to the ground and fell. Lottie Williams was out power walking in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1997. She wasn't hurt, but she was disappointed that it was only a piece of rocket insulation. I was thinking I had something celestial, you know. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.